Hello there everybody, I hope you're all good. Um, just, uh, I suppose, doing a little commentary on this video so that I suppose you can kind of see what happened over the past few days. I did the conversion on my Mugen MBX6 uh, to electric from Nitro and that all went pretty well. It's pretty smooth and easy. The, um, the kit I brought was a bit cheap and nasty to be honest, but anyway. I did it and then I went and ran it for the first time. I had it sort of 20 minutes and, and thought I'd give it a go on 4S. Took it out here and it was really, really slow. And uh, yeah, I was wondering, you know, sort of scratching my head a bit, running it again, it just seemed very, very slow. I then realised that it was much faster in reverse uh, and figured out I just got the motor wires the wrong way round. So, so that, that was that. Um, then I moved on to a couple of days later because I didn't have a chance to run the car and uh, you know I'd set up the controller and everything was was all good because I'm using that um, Flysky GT3C for the first time and uh, when I went to run it or turn it on I turned it on it all turned on and then I went to use it and there was nothing it kind of judged about so I set up a thread on URC Ultimate RC forums and also um, I posted that video up of course on, on my channel and I got some comments, so thanks guys for, for comments and suggestions and all that sort of thing on what was going on. And uh, that helped me out, so that's cool. It hasn't really kind of solved the issue, the motor seems to be broken. Um, and that's about it. But anyway, so I took the motor out of my MT4 G3 and put it in the Ripper motor, 2000 kV. And I just ran it a minute ago. Uh, for the first time it all ran properly and it was cool. It seemed pretty fast generally happy with it and um, I need to get to the track to actually see you know what it's really like being a buggy you can't really you can bash about a buggy obviously it's ape scale and it can get over things but uh, unless you've got kind of a good short grass or a bit of dirt that's kind of smooth and, and, and so on it doesn't really excel in that kind of thing so I took it to this same place that I took the nitro well, I took the same car when it was Nitro, and um, yeah, had a, had two or three minutes of fun with it until the pinion came loose. Now, when I had the pinion on the, the Turnergy motor the other day, I put so much thread lock on it, or blue thread lock anyway, um, that I struggled to get the thing even off the, the motor shaft. But um, as a result of that, I didn't put any more on. I thought that would be enough, and of course, I was wrong. It wasn't enough. So uh, the pinion came loose after what literally two minutes maybe of using it here so just as I was getting into it and thinking oh this is this is pretty good um, that happened so so yeah things to bear in mind lock tight on your pinions uh, as you don't want to have this you know that was it end of the run um, but yeah either way it seems good it's got potential and I'll be taking it to the track and of course I'll be videoing it just to see see how it goes um, just a quick mention as well, I've, I've ordered a Mugen MBX5T, so that's going to be on the channel too. Okay, cheers guys, bye!